Uh, all right, no Samson time. So, some backstory on this. A long, long time ago, Noah Samson was pretty nice to me because Cornbread Tube, the, that entire crowd, they were looking for their token trans person that they found in Jesse Gender. But this was in the before times when they thought that I was going to be the Jesse Gender of their circle. And that's why, if you look in this clip, and this is from the video, The Vosh Effect, I actually get mentioned in it. Each comment on my video was essentially a copy and paste of his statements, with the intended goal of bullying me into deleting it. It does make me wonder, like, how much of this is motivated by his fans' genuine beliefs, and how much of it is them just following orders. And while the exact ratio... tough to find Each that's comment it that's it it just says ratio and he just puts a photo of me it's just keffel's mention so i want to talk about a regular occurring problem that noah samson has which is that noah samson is a very angry person who regularly has a problem with threatening people with death threats like so this is this is old now noah liking a tweet that says that vosh needs to be put down like a dog this was um, in response to Soul Bunny, by the way. So Soul Bunny was like, how can you say I'm racist against white people because I only date white people? And Vosh responds, at least I know I can effortlessly beat the racism allegations by reminding people I fucked black women. Responding that is enough to say this guy needs to, he needs to be taken to the back of the shed. This is literally Soul Bunny's position. The issue that came up recently, so Noah Sampson tweeted this, three Chud Logic videos, and said, pedo freak streamers like this one should be rounded up and melted in a large cast iron cauldron. So he thought he could get away with it. He didn't. He got suspended for a death threat. But the weird thing about it was that Hassan Abi liked it. Hassan Abi liked the tweet where Noah Sampson said, I use the word pedo because he is a 37-year-old man who groomed minors in his Discord. That's a pedo. So let's take a look at these uh, screenshots. Lol, okay, serious question. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? Why do you ask? And ChatLogic says, I guess it's good to know if we are chatting. If you don't want to, tell me that's cool. I'm 33, old boomer. She calls him a boomer and then says, I'm legal so you won't get in trouble if that's what you're wondering. And Chud responds, it's inappropriate for me to be flirting with someone who is underage or even young, like 18. It's supposed to be half your age plus seven. This doesn't sound like something a pedophile would say to me. Like, I don't even like Chud. I think he's an asshole, but he's not a pedophile. And this is just slander and libel. And the fact that Hassan has such a massive platform, but then he boosts this kind of thing, is so irresponsible and beneath someone of his stature. I just, I lose respect in him for doing things like this. So I want to show you all, this was a clip from a video of mine uh, that I did a while ago about DJ Mule. Before I talk and I'm just going to let this play on its own. It wasn't meant to have a camera. Goodbye. Before I talk about the big Xander Hell drama that he is mostly known for, I want to talk about the lesser known drama between DJ Mule and myself because of him irresponsibly pedo jacketing another streamer named Chud Logic. When I was new to the political live streaming scene, DJ Mule and I were Twitter mutuals, and I even once appeared on the Red Planet podcast alongside him and the streamer formerly known as Bad Bunny. I trusted them, and because of that trust, when I saw DJ Mule call Chud Logic a pedophile, I didn't hold back saying as much on my stream. You like racism? Or Pretty sure that guy is like a pedophile. CTV, like, how about actually, yourself? Uh, get on him. That was fake. Infinity, All right. Or Infinity Acre Wood, right? So the I never rolled with it, be like, because like I don't know if it's actually true. I didn't actually look into it. I just have a lot of people around me like convinced he's a pedophile. But knowing, uh, right, okay, knowing okay. that I have been pedo jacketed before, I don't feel comfortable like 100% saying yes, he is in fact a pedophile. Oh, so you just say, I think he's a pedophile, and that's okay then. Excellent, good to know. I later found out, however, that this was misinformation, and I confronted him in DMs to tell him about how much I was harassed by using the information he provided to me. I later released those DMs in a video on my channel called Bad Bunny Liar Grifter Manipulator, and I'll leave the timestamps of the full DM leak in the description. 
I'm going to show you Chud Logic and Xander Hall's reaction. So you guys may not be aware of this, but like when you get into drama with another streamer, uh, which obviously Keppels has gotten into a lot of drama with uh, with um, Chud Logic, you're scrolling through Twitter and you stumble across what appears to be a thread of evidence this person who you are having beef with is actually a pedophile. You're you're pretty likely to be like, whoa, okay, all right, well I just got handed the W then, just got a just got a point to this, and I've won the argument, I've won the whole drama, I've won the debate, like like. It seems like you've had, like, a W handed to you on a golden platter. So I can't really blame Keffels for trying to take it. <laughs> so the plot thickens, guys. The plot thickens. The reason that Keffels said that about me on stream. So I thought that it just came... Because it. this is the thing. And this is very revealing for me. I thought that it came out of nowhere. And that Keffels just randomly said that about me. And... I thought maybe she was alluding to the drama that I was involved in, but like, I didn't realize that this person had said it to her. So, so actually it was DJ Mule that had told her this and she just repeated the claim on stream. Unbelievable. I actually was like pretty amicable with the guy. Um, I think then the, you know, the allegations came out. And he obviously sided super hard against me, which, you know, a lot of people did. It is what it is. W wasn't the girl in question 30 years old? There were, there were like two girls. One was 30 years old, and the other definitively lied to Chud Logic's face about her age. Come on, man. Like, that evidence is out there. Uh, see, DJ Mule has a habit of, you know, just kind of making shit up, even though there's already pretty substantial hard evidence to debunk whatever claims he's trying to make about people. But then since, yeah, she did apologize to me. But then since then, he is like, at every opportunity that's, that's plausible to do so, you know, obviously he is a completely failed loser content creator. This man has like, like an Avengers lineup of debate streamers in his mind. It's like me, Vosh, uh, I, I don't even, like, probably Demon Mama, maybe? Funnily enough, it was actually Demon Mama. <laughs> this is like a little while ago. Demon Mama asked me to raid a charity stream. And I thought, okay, yeah, sure, I'll raid a charity stream, why not? And it was Bad Bunny's charity stream. Um, and even though, even at that time, I was a bit like, ooh, I mean, now I've obviously got very strong opinions on Bad Bunny, but back then I was a bit like, oh, seems like a bit of a bitch. You know, that was kind of my perspective, but whatever. I'll raid a charity stream anyway, just to do the right thing. So, raided a charity stream. She's like, oh, hey, Chud Logic, thanks for the raid. You know, kind of normal, like. And this fucking DJ Mule fellas, they're like with a face like a slapped ass. He's not happy with it, clearly. And I know that DJ Mule is someone that had spoken hardly against me, quite hard against me with the allegations. And I just sort of like, just left, didn't say anything and just thought nothing more of it, right? A few days later, DJ Mule puts out this tweet and he's like just to remind everyone Chud Logic's a groomer and kind of tries to relitigate the whole thing and Bad Bunny retweeted it so just to clarify the se sequence of events I had in good faith raided a charity stream okay just because it's a charity stream obviously didn't want to bring any drama into it didn't want to you know literally could have just raided it and left it at that and that was that but no this fucker has to go out and put a thread out and call me a groomer again, trying to relitigate it, like, months later. Look at this, like, this is how these people operate. They're so fucking dishonest, and they come in, and they're little, Oh, oh, I'm so sorry that happened. I never would have asked you to do that. I really appreciate you, though. And then look how quick the time like, changes. Like, I appreciate what you do a lot, and you defo put yourself in the crosshairs with that. But, like, yeah, Scumbags. it's a super fucked up situation, and he is a groomer. Um, and I, I really am sad that Keffels had to get the blowback for this, because, you know, while, yes, you know, a responsibility for spreading misinfo and all of that, and yes, it did need to be called out. Very clearly, you can tell here from this private in in interaction, Kethels is pretty upset that she unknowingly spread misinfo, which has harmed her credibility. Now, does this mean that there's a learning, like, lesson to come from this? Obviously, yeah. Um, but it goes to show just how much of a liar this DJ Mule guy is. You can't take him seriously. I'm going to be honest with you, right? In this situation, I don't think that Keffels has really done anything wrong. Like, you know, 
she wanted some more information because she felt that she'd been misled in regards to my situation from tweets he'd put out. Um, and he provided the information, and then 12 hours later, he's fucking reing and reing in her DMs. Keffels is right. Why should like why should she trust you? You've put out a piece of information that even people within their own community were disagreeing with. If you look at a chat when she called me that, people were saying, hang on a sec, hang on a sec, hang on a sec. You know, that's a scary idea that he actually ends up, the, the online left forgets about these lies and like in a year from now, he falsely accuses someone else and people buy it. It's a scary idea. It's not okay to spread this kind of misinformation. If you make these kinds of accusations, you need to have proof. It shouldn't be okay, it shouldn't be acceptable to make such big accusations when your proof is two Discord logs that don't even say what it is that you're trying to think that it says. It's terrible. Don't pull shit out of your ass. It's irresponsible, and this is why I go so hard on these video essay as hacks, because they have all the time in the world. They're not live. They can do research, and they don't. They skirt by on being charismatic and grifting people.